Hey, hey Wildcats. Wildcats! Welcome back to another Weekly Scratch. I'm Jazzy. And I'm Nolan. Wildcats, orchestra is having a winter performance. Here's more information. The Winter Orchestra Choir concert is at 6 p.m. on December 8th, Wednesday, in the theater. There is a suggested $2 donation at the door. <laughs> Make sure to go on support. Our freshmen have been doing a little project. Let's see what they've been up to. Hey Wildcats, our freshmen just finished their bottled ecosystem project and we wanted to get some of their takes on it. Hi, I'm Mr. Zhang and I teach biology here at Sunnyside High School. And if you haven't heard the buzz, well, maybe you heard the crickets. So this is our freshman biology project, Ecosystems in a Bottle, and we'll tell you all the scoop about it. Okay, so our unit two is about Earth's atmosphere, cellular respiration, and photosynthesis. So what we're trying to do with the bottles is we want to uh, capture what happens on Earth and we want to put it into our bottles. So what this teaches our students is to create balance. Um, and so if we look at a full scale uh, uh, with the world, if we pollute, if we cause imbalance in nature, then uh, these organisms inside our, our bottles won't survive. And some of you guys remember from freshman year when you guys did this, yeah, your fish and your crickets, they all kick the bucket. Um, what I enjoy about this project is uh, to, to kind of just let go of the reins and just have the kids do what they want. And so we really let the kids design their projects. They have to bring all the materials and it's just fun to watch them work together. <laughs> so they even get to name like their, uh, all of the cr critters that they put inside, the fish, the worm, and the cricket. And so uh, watching them trying to put it together is really, really fun. Now that we heard from our teacher, Mr. Zhang, with an overview of the project and his views, let's hear from our Sunnyside freshmen what they thought about the project themselves. The purpose of this project is to design two completely different ecosystems and creating it into one big <laughs> ecosystem. The purpose of this project was to understand the process of cellular respiration, photosynthesis, water cycle, and how animals affect the ecosystem. I enjoyed putting everything together and brainstorming new ideas on two different ecosystems and combining them into one. Something I enjoyed about this project was putting it together and watching our ecosystem grow. Yes, because it's a very fun and interesting experience. should do this project because it is a very interesting and exciting project. Alright Wildcats, that's our ecosystem in a bottle. This is a project our biology class does every year. What an awesome project! Maybe you could try it yourself and you can learn more about our ecosystem. Wildcats, well, interesting playing baseball this year. There will be a meeting after school on December 9th at the varsity baseball field. On to our diversity co commissioner with our weekly updates. Hey, Wildcats, here are the dress up days for next week. Monday, December 13th, the theme is Christmas morning, and you wear pajamas and onesies. Tuesday, December 14th, the theme is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, and you wear green. Wednesday, December 15th, the theme is A Christmas to Remember, and you wear your ugly sweater. Thursday, December 16th, the theme is Baby It's Cold Outside, and you wear your flannel. Finally, for Friday, the theme is Holly Jolly Day, and you wear your Christmas attire. You may not know our history or our culture, but maybe you know some of our tribes. Or our athletes. Powwow dancing. Mm. Food. Or regalia. We are resilient people. Because of our past. But we are more than history. We, we are, are here now. United and connected to our heritage. We are storytellers. Artists. Scholars. Creatives. Small business owners. Lawyers. Today and every day. If we push for change. To educate others and celebrate. Who we are. I am an indigenous person. I I am an indigenous person. I am an Afro-indigenous person. Our people exist. Not just as individuals. But together. In the present. As one native family. family. On to Sports Corner. Hey Wildcats, this is Sports Corner, and this is your Athlete of the Week. My name is Venicia. I'm in ninth grade and I played golf. I played the sport because I wanted to try something new and what keeps me motivated is my, just the people on the team supporting me and my family. My dad inspired me to start playing. He, used, he plays just for fun but it, he enjoys it so. I plan to graduate and hopefully go to college. Christmas is around the corner. Here's Sarah and Arish giving you holiday bakes. 
Hey Wildcats! Welcome to our very first Holiday Bakes. Today we are going to show you how to make peppermint bark. All you will need is white chocolate, milk chocolate, and peppermints. First thing you will want to do is grab a sheet pan and put parchment paper on it. Next, you will want to melt your white chocolate in the microwave for about a minute. If it is not fully melted, then put it in for another 30 seconds until it's fully melted. Then pour the chocolate onto the pan and spread it out evenly. Put it in the freezer and wait until the chocolate is frozen. While waiting for the chocolate to freeze, you will want to take your peppermints and put them into a Ziploc bag. You will want to crush up the peppermints. Once the white chocolate is fully frozen, you will then want to melt the milk chocolate and pour it on top of the white chocolate. Before it goes into the freezer, sprinkle on the peppermint pieces. Then, put the pan back into the freezer and wait until it's frozen. The very last thing to complete this peppermint bark is to break it up into pieces. After that, your peppermint bark is finished. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, Wildcats! Seniors, this message is for you. Listen up. Have you been wondering where to buy or order your own cap and gown and many other items for graduation? Well, you could check it out online, by phone, by mail, or in person. All this information is also on the packet given to you during homeroom. Make sure you get your graduation gear before the break begins. Make sure to go purchase your cap and gown before January. On to Words of Wisdom with Mr. Troxel. And now it's time for Words of Wisdom with Mr. Troxel. How did Vikings communicate centuries ago? They used Norse code. That's it for this week. Bye, Bye Wildcats. Wildcats.